Hello and welcome to another Motion Industries how-to video. My name is Tom Clark, I am your host, and on today's how-to, we're gonna be talking about the benefits of using the Aegis Shaft Voltage Tester, and to help us learn all about that is Adam Wilworth. He is with Aegis, I wanna welcome him back. How are you, Adam? Hi, Tom, good to see you again. Good to see you too, man. Now, um, in the past, we have talked about VFDs before, uh, but before we talk about the actual tester itself, can you give me a little background on this thing? Sure, and before we actually start testing, I'm first gonna start with why we would want to test. Okay. So whenever a VFD is used to control a motor, there's the potential for shaft voltage, which you can see on the tester. These voltages can discharge through the motor's bearings that might cause bearing damage, critical bearing failure, which would result in high replacement or repair costs. Uh, high costs and loss production is never good because that really affects the bottom line. So when I say never, I mean never. That's right. So see what I mean here, for example, you see this fluted bearing caused by the electrical arcing in this failed bearing, and that's what we're actually trying to prevent. Yeah, those marks are as clear as day right there. So the Aegis shaft voltage tester is gonna help us find that problem and solve it. So how do we actually use it, Adam? Okay, let me show you. So here we have the Aegis shaft voltage tester, mm -hmm. which tests for destructive shaft voltages on motors that are controlled by variable frequency drives. Right. So we have one motor here that has no shaft grounding on it, and the bearings can fail. On the other motor, we actually do have the Aegis shaft grounding ring installed, so this motor would be protected. Okay. So now, I've already set this tester up to measure the shaft voltage, which you can see on the screen of the oscilloscope. All right. Now, what we have is a shaft voltage probe with a conductive microfiber tip okay. that allows you to touch the shaft while the shaft is spinning, and we put the entire probe assembly inside a magnetic base so you can safely do that measurement while the motor's running without any uh, potential injuries. Okay, so what am I gonna see when I look at this screen now? To see what a shaft voltage discharge would look like, we're gonna freeze the screen by hitting the run stop button. Oh, you and can, you can see, see that gradual rise in voltage and the very fast discharge, that's a pit being created in the bearing of this motor. Okay, now what if I, uh, what if I wanna save that and show that to somebody or something like that? How do I do that? Right, we have the Aegis one touch screen capture feature. So I can hit the save button mm -hmm. with my memory stick installed and I just hold it in for about six seconds okay. until you see the, um, the indicator oh, of, there the, it goes. of the image being saved on the screen. It almost looked like it was downloading a picture there. That's correct and it puts it right on the memory stick. And then you can put that photo onto, an, uh, onto a report that you would make on this motor that you've just tested. Well, that's pretty easy and convenient. Now, what do we have on this motor over here? All right, so this motor already has the ring installed, as we said, so it's okay. already protected. So the voltages will go through the bearing protection ring instead of the bearings. And there should be no voltage present on the screen of the Aegis shaft voltage tester. Okay, how do I put this together? All right, the first thing we're gonna do, we're going to hit the green button on the scope. All right. And get it started. Okay, All the, right. the universal symbol for That's turn me right. on. Okay. Okay, there it goes. All right, so now you take the shaft voltage probe. Right. And you're gonna stick it inside the holder that's in front of you in the magnetic base holder. Got it. And you're okay. gonna position that holder so that the microfiber tip is touching the motor's shaft. Okay, I'm on and the shaft. And the last thing you do is mm -hmm. you connect the ground lead to the Aegis high frequency ground strap that's grounding the frame of the motor to ground. All right, I'm connected in, Captain. Now you're ready to turn it on. You hit the green button on the VFD. All right, there goes our shaft. It's connected, our screen is on, there we go. I don't see anything like that other screen. As you can see, there aren't any because the grounding ring on the motor's shaft is discharging the shaft voltages and protecting the bearing. So you've verified now that this motor is protected from failure. I like this, I mean, it's easy to do. And I realize now that any motor operating on VFDs are gonna benefit from using this tester. Absolutely. So the Aegis shaft voltage tester, we consider that an essential tool to identify problems and prevent unplanned downtime for any maintenance department that has motors operated by VFDs. So they can go in and verify whether or not there might be a problem. Now, everything that we did here today, is there a convenient way that anybody can find all these procedures? All right, so we have everything outlined in the Aegis Bearing Protection Handbook, right. which has procedures for all of these steps that we looked at today, how to set up the scope, examples of waveforms, how to test, mm -hmm. and everything is in there, including if you do find shaft voltage, 
what you can do to prevent it from happening in order to save the bearings. Well, they can actually call me now since you told me how to use it. I can set them up. That's right. You can just do the demo for them. Because you make it so easy. Thank you, Adam. Good Thank information. You, Adam Wilworth, he is with Aegis. And if you have any questions about anything you saw here today, contact your nearest Motion Industries branch location. A rep will be sure to help you out. Also, make sure you're wearing the right PPE for whatever job you're doing because safety is priority number one. Your next priority, check out some more videos with me, Tom Clark, as your host. It could be an MI How To, could be Tom's Toolbox. Either way, if you go to MIHowTo.com, that's where you find all the videos. Thanks for watching today.